Okay? Yeah. So, when putting the client in side blind position, first thing that you have to do, put the bed, uh, bed on flat position, open the side rail on your side, and remember, always, 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 what? Okay, do not forget. Otherwise, if you get used to it, not raising the height of the bed as per the height of your waist, eventually, guys, you will have a pain in your back. Maybe months and months you won't experience, but if you keep doing the job for years, it will be difficult. Okay? Then you have to decide, of course, which side are you going to turn the patient on. But since I am on this side and there's another rule in moving the client, never push your client. Okay? In moving your client, in changing your client's position, you can only do this if you have another co-worker on the other side. Never push your client. First thing, safety. What if by chance you did this? Your client might hit the side rail, hands hit the side rail, they can develop bruises, and again, that is subject for legal action. Okay? You'll never know. Anything can happen in the hospital. So please do not forget that. Never push your client until unless there's another co-worker that can ensure the client's safety on the other side. Rob, I, I've seen a lot of uh, uh, my colleagues, they're doing that, they're just putting pillows there. Some people are doing that, but still, the best way to, make, uh, to secure your client's safety is always pull. If you pull, you will have total control. Yes? So please do not forget that. Okay? Now, if your client is a little bit bigger, okay, because this bed, this is the standard size of the bed. But some beds, they are a little bit bigger. Okay, again, depends on the brand, depends on the size. And sometimes in the hospital, um, the beds that they are using are customized. Okay, so they are longer, they are wider. Now, imagine your client a little bit bigger and they are on this type of the bed. If you pull them without measuring, okay, they can end up on the edge already. Okay? To prevent that, what you need to do, I'm talking about bigger clients in this size of the bed. Huh? What you need to do, first thing, guys have to do is go on the other side first and using the draw sheet okay, pull your client on the other side guys in moving a client if you're going to pull them in the bed Okay? Always divide their body into three different parts. Do not pull them all at once. It will be difficult okay? and it will put strain in your back. Later, I want you guys to try, since most of you chose to uh, use a partner, a human being, not the mannequin, you guys will be able to feel the weight of a human person. When you try to pull them from the center to adjust, use, move this first. When the client is bedridden, this will be the heaviest part. Not the, not the torso, not the head, not the legs, but here. Okay? In the abdomen, lower back area, this will be the heaviest part of their body. Why is that so? Why is that so? Because this is the center. Okay? And most, most of the time, when a client is bedridden, they, they will experience muscle wasting. Their muscles will, will try to atrophy. Their muscles will try will become a little bit smaller. Okay? Which not shrink, but some it happens. 
Okay, but they call it muscle wasting. Okay, the muscle starts to go away. Okay, those muscles are there if you stimulate. Okay, normally stimulation happens when you do exercises and stuff. But bedridden clients, uh, they perform very mild passive range of motion exercises only. Okay, so either they can maintain or they will lose. But they can never gain. Gaining takes diet, exercise, exercise and activity, and a lot of things. Okay? But this will be the heaviest part. Okay? So you focus here first, then you move the upper part. When moving the head, always support the neck. Always support. Do not move okay? using the shoulders. Do not do this. Okay? You don't want to break the client's neck. So when you move, put your hand under, then you move. Okay? If you want, you can even use the pillows. Grab the pillows, okay? Grab the shoulders, and then you move. By using the pillows, you are you're using uh, basically you're trying to immobilize the neck. So when moving, it will be completely steady. Then last thing is the legs.